Sports Gamer Next here, and today I'm finally unboxing the game, The Last of Us. Um, I've got a long story, story around me actually getting this game. Um, I ordered a copy off a, a website called Shop 2, which I usually use all the time. It didn't come. Um, it should have come Thursday, but it didn't arrive, so I thought, they're usually not, it's not 100% guaranteed to come daily. So I thought, I'll wait till Friday. Didn't come again. I thought, oh, maybe one more day. Still didn't come today. So I've decided, decided I went out and bought another copy of The Last of Us because I can't wait to play it and um, I didn't, I can't be bothered to wait. Why should I, why should I wait? I've paid for a service and uh, didn't deliver. So I decided to, so I went to town and um, bought another copy of The Last of Us and then if that other copy turns up, I'll just send it back and I can get a full refund so that's all good. So also good news, I've just signed up for the PlayStation Plus and, as well because there's some really good deals in there at the minute and um, of course, um, PS4 needs um, PlayStation Plus to play online, and I will be definitely getting a PS4. I pre-ordered it, and I can't wait to play it. So here we go with the unboxing. So you know, it's from Naughty Dog, uh, Creators of Uncharted, and then you've got like Jack and Dice, I believe they did. Uh, that's actually coming out soon. That trilogy on Vita, so I might have to pick that up. You need a network pass. I prefer that to like DRM and all that. Could you be the Last of Us? Now this game looks really good. I cannot wait to play it. So it is one player offline. And um, surprisingly enough, you don't need to install anything onto the hard drive. 50 megabytes, dual shot free, dual shot free, obviously. Only 720p, and um, it's two to eight players online. Now it's time for the unboxing. Good thing is as well for that other copy which I pre-ordered. Yeah, um, I got DLC as well, so at least I've got that still, which I've already redeemed on PS3. You might actually hear it in background because I've got it turned on and ready to go. Rated, rated 18 as well by Peggy here in the UK. Let's turn it over. There we go. Got a manual as well. That's for us, um, Blu ray. I'm just going to put that to one side. Really, really good. Let me just uh, make sure there's no right, network passes on top back of manual. So you've got some really nice, insane cover art. Right, manual. I know Sony's kind of stopped doing manuals, but it's nice to see him bring one back. Oh, sweet. That next page is my network pass, so I'm not showing you that. So, yeah, that is The Last of Us for the PlayStation 3. It's going to be an awesome game. Um, I'm going to be doing some gameplay, I don't know when, because I'm not feeling very well at the moment in time. Uh, it's, it's painful for me to do this video, but I'm bringing it to you anyway, because I know people really want to see me unboxings. But anyway. That is the last of us for the PS3. I hope you enjoyed me unboxing, and I'd really appreciate it if you drop us a like and subscribe to GameRax. And tell everyone about GameRax. Um, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a really good future on this channel. Got loads of stuff coming up, and um, especially for the PlayStation VR. But anyway, that's it this time for GameRax, and I'll see you all in my gameplay.